In this lesson, we're going to do the snook. So it's a fish. I'm starting off with my oval round and round. And the, the snook has a rather long head, so I'm making a long triangle. And then in the back, we have our rectangle for the peduncle and a triangle for the caudal fin or the tail. So I've got my basic shapes. I did a little darker so that you can see, hopefully. I am finding the center of my fish so that I can gauge where the proximity is from the fins and all. So a line comes down for the mouth and we're bringing the lower jaw out further than the upper and bringing it around for the gill cover, just like that. So make sure that the lower jaw comes out more than the upper jaw. Then the line to combine the body to the tail, we make a line. I'm gonna round the tail a bit and come into the center. Come back out, a little bit rounded. This is an inshore fish, it's not a pelagic fish, so he doesn't have that rigid tail. Now under the gill, I'm gonna give him a little more of a belly and come up to the peduncle. I'm putting the eyeball in and looking at where my gill cover is, uh, it's, I'm gonna bring it back a little bit more. I'm gonna put in that pectoral fin and then below that, one of the ventral fins. Of course, it has two, I'm only showing one. Above that, I'm gonna make a triangle for the first dorsal, another triangle for the second dorsal. Now I'll shape it, curve it a little bit, come in a little bit and down. And the second dorsal, curve it and a little bit down so it eases right into the peduncle. So I've got my ventral fin, my gill cover. Um, I'm gonna now take my eraser and I'm gonna erase my guidelines. If you draw uh, very light, it's very easy to erase and I want this to be clean lines that you can see when we're going to paint it. We're gonna use our watercolors today and we leave white areas. So I want to make sure that all my lines are gone. So I'm getting rid of all my guidelines. And that looks pretty good. Now the paint will be the Reeves palette. The colors we're going to be using today are brown, dark blue, maybe a red, and the uh, mustard color. I'm going to start off with my half inch flat and I'm putting in just some plain water on the top of the fish. This is to form a base for my wash. We're going to be doing a lot of layering of colors today to really give it some dimension. So I'm putting down that plain water. Now I'm going to get some color and I'm mixing my colors here. I'm going to get some blue and I have the dark blue and it's just going over that water that I put there so that it glides real easy, just washes right on the fish careful around the top using the edge of my brush and just moving it along that top going into the tail and I'm gonna get a little more here a little more so it's darker so I got some more of that dark blue and carefully on the top and moving it from the front to the back and it just glides over that water a little bit up and I'm gonna get a little more paint on my brush. And this time I'm putting some brown with the blue, getting it a little bit darker, layering it on top. So now we have this dark brown that's on the dark blue and putting a little bit on the lower lobe of the tail or caudal fin and rounding the tips. Make sure they don't come to points. Again, this is a near shore fish, so he doesn't have the pointed tail. I'm using the side of my brush with that brown and blue to show the spines on the first and second dorsal. And I'm also putting them on the ventral fin and on the pectoral fin. And uh, I'm looking at my fish and realize I forgot my anal fin. So I'm drawing it in, line over, and uh, there we go. Now he's got the anal fin. And again, I'm putting the spines the same way on it. Now I'm just putting a little shadow on the back of the gill cover, a little bit more up at the top, a little bit there around the nose, around the eye, underneath on the lower jaw, which again extends out beyond the upper jaw. 
Now I put a little bit of that mustard color on my brush, so now I've got the brown, the blue, and a little bit of that mustard. And I'm putting that over the blue and bringing it down into the center of the fish. It almost looks green, but that's okay. And moving it toward the back. These fish, of course, have counter shading, darker at the top and um, white on the bottom. A little bit more of that mustard color. You'll find that third from the top where the white is in your tin. And I'm going over a little bit on the top fins as well. All right, now I'm gonna get, I got a little bit of water on my brush and I'm gonna move some of that color around just a little bit, a little bit light here and there. We have a little bit of value of the light color next to the dark. This is what gives it the dimension, light to dark. And just a little bit more water, a little bit more of the blue, just to try to shape the face a little bit. And a little bit there around the gill cover. And just a little bit more in the body of the fish. I watered down my brush so I could blend my colors. When you want to blend one into another, you just get the water on the brush and you blend it. I've got a little more of that rust color, but it was too much. So now I'm going to get the water to kind of take it off. And I'm putting a little more on my fins. They're a little more yellow on the snook. Sometimes they're almost a bright yellow, but I'm doing it more of a dull yellow on this one. So now I'm taking my small round brush. I use a number four. I got black and I'm going to put in my eyeball. So very carefully with black and the small brush, carefully fill it in. You circle it first and leave just a little bit of white. That gives a nice reflection, makes the fish look more alive. Make sure it's nice and round. And I, I want to show the eye socket, but I don't want to use the straight black. So I watered down my brush just a little bit to get a little grayer and I'm showing the eye socket itself. And I'm putting it just around the eye. And I used a little yellow to go behind the eye. I like to look at photographs. And in the photo I'm looking at, there's a bit of yellow behind the eye as well as on the upper and lower lip that I'll be putting in as well. A Little bit in front. And a little bit there, as I said, on the upper and lower jaw. A little bit of yellow. That's that mustard color again. Not bright yellow, but the mustard color. And I'm putting it again on the fin. Notice how we've been layering it. We're getting some really nice tones here. And I'm putting it on the hard and soft dorsal on some of those white spaces. So now we have the dark and the light on our fins. Short strokes always in the direction of the way the spines are. And I'm going to just get a little more color here. And I have the dark blue and brown. I'm going to define that outside gill cover very carefully, just bringing it down. And another one. There's several of the gill flaps. Remember the way the fish breathe, the water goes in their mouth, over the gills, which are bright red, where the oxygen is extracted, and out the gills. And a little more of that dark color around the eye. And defining the lips just a little bit. Again, I'm using the dark blue and the brown to give it a dark color. And I'm doing the lower jaw here, a little bit dark. And let's see, and I'm gonna bring the lips down a little more. And just a little bit here underneath. Yeah, another couple lines on those gills. Now I'm gonna use some of that dark brown blue. And I'm going to put some more darkness at the top of the fish. I'm putting my brush on the side so that I get a wider line. And I'm bringing it up to the top of the tail. I'm gonna put in the spines, dark blue and brown. And I'm stroking to show all of those spines that come up. They all come off the vertebrae. And then I'm gonna connect them very lightly. 
and go to the second dorsal, same thing. Again, dark brown and dark blue, making my spines. And then a light connect. Now a little bit of dark here on the tail. And I'll put my spines in here, long strokes. And on the bottom tail too, long strokes. And they start right there at the end of the vertebrae. And the top of the tail, I'm going to come down just a little bit of a rough edge to the back of the tail, or caudal fin as it's called. And I'm gonna make the tip just a little bit darker and up here as well, just a little bit darker. Now some spines on the anal fin, connect them. Spines on the ventral fin, dark brown and dark blue, and connect them. There we go. And a little bit of dark there where they attach to the belly of the fish. And I'm watering down my brush a little bit so I can move that paint that I put there. It's a little more dark than I need, so I'm just going to move it so you can see the bottom. You don't want to do an outline to the fish. You want to vary the thickness of your brush and how much paint you put on it so that even though we're, it looks like we're outlining, we're not outlining, we're defining. And you want to just be careful you're not making it look like you're outlining, and especially not with black. So we have that dark blue and brown, now the spines and the pectoral fin, the roundness on the edge. Now I'm gonna to go to my big brush and I'm cleaning it and I'm drying it off because I'm going to be flailing out the tips. I'm going to put it into some of that dark brown and blue and very lightly, I'm gonna tap. Now this way I can make it darker at the top and it gives the impression of scales. This is like the quick way to show scales and texture. So I'm just putting it around here, a little bit up here on the gills, around the head a little bit. But it was just a tapping of the dry brush on the dark blue and the brown. Now for the bottom I'm doing just very, very lightly a little bit of blue. Because the belly is white, but I want to show just a little bit of difference in color with this tiny little tapping of a light blue. Notice how we've given texture to the fish and now it looks like he's got scales. He's not just real smooth. So he's looking pretty good. So I'm back to my small brush. We have our small round brush. I'm putting a little bit more darkness around his nose and the bottom of his mouth. Fish do have nostrils. I don't show it in this fish, on this snook, but fish do have nostrils. And I'm going to put a little bit of darkness at the base of the dorsal fins and a little bit on the anal fin. So it's just a little bit of shading there right at the beginning. So I did that on all the fins. And I'm looking at my fish thinking, all right, what else do I need to do here? And, um, all right, time for the lateral line. With a dark purple, I'm putting a line that goes behind the gills, down on the body of the fish, all the way down to the beginning of the tail. That's very obvious on all snook that they have that line. And I'm making it a little darker there behind the gill. Just a little bit of shadow here and there. A little bit of shadow there, because they do open and close. A little bit right underneath. And just a light color there on the bottom of the tail. I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, you know, it's like it's never done. 
a little bit more there on the nose, a little bit more dark blue, a little bit more dark on the top. That's it. So we have our snook. Very popular fish in shore waters in Florida. And there we have it, the snook. Hope you enjoyed it and happy painting.